This is fair. This is interesting. Yeah? Well, it's coming from a PhD who is the founding CEO of the Concussion Legacy Foundation. Oh, so an actual doctor. An actual not like doctor. me, a radio doctor. Not you, and, right. and certainly not a uh, not a YouTuber, not a text liner, not a phone caller, not my buddy down the street who once got whacked in the head. Uh, Chris Nowinski. And uh, we'll chase him. We'll see if we can get him to talk. Because listen to this. And this is where my mind opens up, for sure. Um, I would have all kinds of questions for, uh, for Dr. Nowinski. Um, two things to pass along to you. First of all, and this is where it gets confusing too, because we've been we've been running with this all week. Nobody has co- gotten concussed and then played in the very next game. Well, they're doing more research beyond this season, and Adam Schefter says, as it turns out, over the last few years, roughly 25% of players who suffer a concussion will return to play the following week when the game is six to seven days away per the NFL. So far this season, several players have returned for the next game. Now, maybe they played on a Thursday the prior week, whatever. But passing through the protocol is criterion-dependent, not time-dependent. Right. So, here is Dr. Nowinski's response to that tweet from Adam Schefter. Quote, the six-day return is impossible if the player reports symptoms in the days following the diagnosis. Players know this, so those who want to return in a week know to say they feel fine, whether it's true or not. I hope they understand what they are risking. Now, next one from Nowinski, and this is a response to the video that we've all seen from Pro Football Talk where Brock took the shot to the head. Nowinski, and this was two days ago, writes, Brock Purdy is in the concussion protocol, took this hit. According to ESPN, quote, there is still time for him to clear protocol and start Sunday, according to Shanahan. Shanahan would have to be insane to play Purdy six days after a concussion. Have we forgotten Tua already? Goes on to say, I hope this is gamesmanship. So the Bengals prep for both QBs and not ignorance of the fact that no one fully recovers from a concussion in six days. Why put Purdy at risk for a life-altering second concussion in a week? They've got a bye week the next week. Rest him. That is from Ph.D. Chris Nowinski, founding CEO of the Concussion Legacy Foundation. Glad to hear that from Chris, and it uh, echoes what I have been saying. I'm not saying that I am as astute as Dr. Nowitzki, I would never claim that, but that's my fear, is the repeat concussion threat and what that might mean, not only for this season, but for Brock Purdy himself. And I've been doing some research of my own, trying to figure out what the repeat concussion likelihood is. And this from the National Library of Medicine. They did a study on repeat concussions in the National Football League. And I was just going through all the data during the last break and the last segment and whatnot, and the percentage of concussion repeats, like you get a concussion, yep. how likely are you to get a second concussion? Within seven days, 2.8%. Okay. Within eight to 14 days, 3.9%. Within two to three weeks, 1.7%. Between four and five weeks, 0.9%. More than four weeks, So you have a 90% chance of getting your second concussion after a month as opposed to within that next month. Wait, I'm confused. I'm just being honest. The percentages went up the further it went away? Correct. And I think what this study is telling me is that the frequency of a repeat concussion is not as high in terms of the, the recency of your first concussion as we might think. It, this study huh. is telling us that 90% of these second concussions happen more than a month after the first concussion. Well, now, they, part of this might be being, you don't play. Th- right. You're in a dark room by yourself. Exactly. <laughs> so that is definitely part of this. But huh. I thought myself that the within seven days, and they also had a same-day concussion, which was 0.9%. And this is measuring from 1996 to 2007. 
So it's a bit of an older study, but it's 12 years of data. And basically what this is telling me is you can get a concussion a month later just as much as you could get one in well, a week. That'd be a great question for uh, for Dr. Nowinski if we can get him. We're, we're, we're efforting. Efforting. Uh, would love to talk to him because I my first question would be, so, Doc, are you saying the concussion protocol in the NFL is bunk? Because that's what it sounds like to me. That's what it sounds like he's saying. It's a like, joke. If you can just talk your way through it, then what the hell are we doing? The other thing, though, and this is, this is intricate with what he said, the six-day return is impossible – if the player reports symptoms in the days following the diagnosis. Right. I don't know if he did. Following the diagnosis. If he goes up to him on the plane and says, my head hurts, okay? We're putting you in the protocol. All right. Now, next morning, we've diagnosed you with a concussion. Following that diagnosis, do you report more symptoms? I don't know. Maybe he never had any again. Probably not. And probably not, based on the way it's played out. Based on so, the way he's accelerated through the protocol. Yeah, yeah. Lot, lots of questions. But that, that it's interesting. Because here's the other thing about Tua, whenever people bring this up. Let's talk about Tua for a second. The quote-unquote life-altering concussion. On the Thursday night against the Bengals last year, I'll never forget this day. I'll never forget this game. It's the night I was at the Giants game. It's the night I caught that foul ball. For the first time in my life. September 29th. We were watching the game on the phone, sitting and propped it up on the seat in front of us, and we're watching the Bengals play the Dolphins, and we're watching the Giants play the Rockies. And and Tua goes down, and everybody's heart is just stopped. And you heard that a lot from people in, in the next few days, which is this is a life-altering, career-threatening concussion. And then three weeks later, he came back, and nobody has said another word. He's playing fine. Did he have a life-altering concussion? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll need to ask him when he's 68 how he's doing. If he makes it that long. If he long. makes it that long. Yeah. I don't know if he had one, but there's another question I would ask him. How are we feeling about Tua now? He, he, he was given a few weeks off. He came back. He's played football, and now he's an MVP candidate. Yeah. So I I, I don't know. I, I, I he was don't eight know. of fourteen against Cincinnati that day. Yep. He threw a pick and Teddy Teddy Bridgewater came in for him and Tua sat out week five, week six, and then he came back and started week seven. He went twenty one of thirty five for two sixty one and a touchdown. And in fact, he went five straight games with no interception after, after that. the two week gap. After the Cincinnati game. He also threw the touchdown pass to win the game against the Bills the previous week, which was the wobble game where he went out and came back in. Right. They won the game. 21-19, They, they, they yeah. won the football game. Yep. Uh, Zachary Moeller on YouTube with a super chat. Oh. And he says, love the show, fellas. Listen every day. Risk-reward is tough. What if they need to do a QB sneak? Cash me out one time. It limits the plays they can do. Well, does it? Would Kyle hesitate to do a QB sneak if it's the right play? I don't know. I don't know. Christian McCaffrey was compromised, and he responded by playing him every single down on Monday night. Different injury. Absolutely. Different but injury. we have all said that these head coaches often feel that this is a black and white answer. Correct. Are you ready? Yes. Well, if you're ready, then we're playing football. And this is the way we play football. McCaffrey played every snap. Every snap. Every, everyone, oh, we got to limit his touches. We got to limit. Kyle went, how about every snap? Right. How about you ain't coming off the field? Ever. And you're getting 18 touches. I mean, I don't know if he would hesitate to do a sneak. Well. Maybe not. Honestly, and this is me being a little bit callous, if you're going to play him, then you got to sneak him. If you don't think that you can QB sneak him because his head, then, then you should not play him. Then he should not be. I agree with you completely. Now, I don't think that they should play him. And we have a poll on the YouTube, and it's uh, YouTube slash 957 The Game. Yeah, where are we at on easy, the poll? Easy poll. Should Brock Purdy play on Sunday? And it's running about. It's almost running 50-50. A little, little hot on the no side. Right. 54-46. It's a yes-no poll. Very simple. And they must have put this out in the morning, and it's a great poll. Yep. And uh, <laughs> it's a great it's poll. It's a great poll. Rack that poll. I, I'm in the know. 
I'm in the no camp. I think you're in the yes camp if he's cleared. Because I don't, like. and again, my only reasoning is that I am not educated enough on this to say otherwise. If the protocol says yes, then then he's cleared. So Yes, and and, and this is where... A bunch of guys have done this already. Right. This is where I blush a little bit. What you're saying is absolutely factually correct, but the protocol. And I would love to talk to Dr. Nowitzki about the protocol because the protocol... Is a joke. It sounds like he agrees with you. It's a joke. It sounds like, I mean, again, if players can just be like, I feel fine. And then you're like, right. Okay. He feels fine. It's like, well, wait a minute. That actually takes us back to the seventies and the eighties. How many fingers am I holding up? Uh, uh, Remember uh, that enough. And the answer was always two. Yeah. And there was a whole bit about pro football players. Like they would always hold up the same number of fingers. And that way you knew the answer, even though your head was spinning. How many fingers am I holding up? Plus or minus four fingers. Go ahead. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, can't get it wrong. One. Um, football Friday. You're in. Get in there. <laughs>